guys, welcome! In this video, we'll summarize all the various events for February 2019 in the Southeast Asia server. We'll go about it per event theme and in chronological order. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with the Evangelion events. Starting January 31, we'll have the Shito Investigation Daily Quest from Kiko in Frontera. It will run for 10 days and will give us the following daily rewards. Two pilot licenses which will transform us into robots, an LCL potion which will give us double base and job EXP for one hour, a nerve operation supply pack which contains various items such as the Mora coin or oracle dust, and the nerve emblem which can be used to purchase various items. On the last day, we'll have an event exclusive blueprint. This limited to one character per account. Next, also starting January 31st, we have the Tokyo Free instance. It will last for 20 days and we'll get the Nerve Commendation Chest, which we can use to get more Nerve Emblems. You can find the Tokyo Free NPC in Prontera. We'll be transformed to robots and we'll have to defeat the upcoming enemies. If you finish it faster, you'll get additional rewards, which just means you'll get more Nerve Emblems. Now let's take a closer look at the Nerve Store. Just click Use on your Nerve Emblems. Alright, we have some cards, a pet egg, an intimacy item for your pet, a few portraits, and a few other items. Right off the bat, I think I'm interested in prioritizing these gold medals and more coins. This store will be open until the last day of February. Also related to the EVA event, we have the EVA Premium which is available for 128 BCC. You'll get 100 Nerve Emblems, 500 colorful shells, and one fourth sheet of monster egg. In addition, we have the Eva Gashapon in Pantera where we can try our luck at the new Eva costumes and headwear for 3D BCC. Lastly, on February 15, there will be a Unit 1 costume live auction. This is a one and only costume for the whole server. Getting the costume will unlock a skill and an achievement. We can also unlock a secret scenery and achievement when we take photos of the costume. Next, for the spring events, we have another daily quest, the Spring Festival Mission. It will last for 7 days and we can find the NPC in Prontera. Our daily prize for this one is the Year of the Pig Blessing gift box. When you open this, you'll get bonus 100% base and job EXP buff, and will randomly receive either a Mora coin, Eden coin, Valkyrie's gift, gold medal, seed of Marcella, or adventure meatballs. Note that on the 6th day, we'll get one Evil Beast Breath as an extra reward. It is one of the required items to craft a New Year Blessing card from the King Pouring NPC. On the 7th day, we'll get the Year of the Pig Blessing card. Note that this event is limited to one character per account. Alright, next on January 31st to February 21, we'll get a Pig Red Pack and Celebration Firecrackers from Farming Monsters. In addition, we'll get more firecrackers when you finish the mission board, time rift, and training grounds. Opening the pig red pack will give us Zenny. Meanwhile, using the celebration firecrackers will bring us to the Spring Festival gift shop, where we can exchange firecrackers for a blueprint, a card, the beast main, which is a material for crafting a card, which I'll show later on, the big cat royal fried chicken, which is a magic damage and range damage food buff, the Big Cat Royal Coke, which is a melee damage food buff. A chest, which will give us a random Big Cat scroll. A UFO Big Cat transformation scroll. A few potions, more coin, and fireworks. Alright, now heading to Prentera South, we can craft the New Year Blessing card from King Pori. This is a garment card which will give HP and 3% job EXP. It also has an unlock reward of free magic attack. You will need the Evil Beast Breath from Day 6 of the Daily Quest, the Beast Main which can be purchased using the Celebration Firecrackers, and 900 Celebration Firecrackers. Alright, for the other events, first off, we have 30% off on all past month headwear in the Fantasy Generator 1. It is available until February 21. Next, when we go to the Recharge, we can purchase a 2019 Blessing gift box for 50% off. This will have a 10% chance of obtaining the Sign of Spring Pet. It is available until March 1, 2019. On February 4, we'll have a New Year's Eve countdown which will show Happy New Year on the screen for the whole server. 
Also, on February 4 until February 11, we'll have the Spring Festival Fashion Gift Box and the Spring Mora Fashion Gift Box available on the Bitcoin Store. Now, the Fashion Gift Box will give us a guaranteed costume and headwear. There's no official news yet as to what it will look like, but this is the one I'm most curious and excited about. Also happening on that week, we have double rewards for the mission board and free CAFRA teleport and storage. Next, starting February 5th to February 21, we can claim the Big Cat's New Year Red Packet at the NPC Red Packet Envoy, which will contain the following various rewards. Note that you can only claim this once per account. Next, on the week of February 11 to 18, we'll have double rewards in the Endless Tower. Note, however, that this is limited to only one character per account. The week after that, on February 18 to 28, we'll have double guild donation rewards, which again is limited to one character per account. Lastly, we'll have another daily quest on Valentine's season, and the wedding dress will go on sale for 50% off. It will then go back to normal price on February 13. The exact start date for these Valentine's events were not specified in the patch, but I'm assuming it might be on the first or second week of February. Alright, so far we've gone through all the current and upcoming Evangelion and Spring events. I hope this video was helpful in summarizing all the various activities this February. Comment down below which event are you most excited about. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.